laundry for the past like three, four months. I filled up this bag, this luggage, and one more bag of dirty clothes. Since I don't have to pay for laundry anymore because I have one, I'm just gonna do them here. But I gotta figure out how to do this thing. Last night I came here and I dropped off a few clothes. So there is some clothing in my closet now. I have three sneaker containers, which is just a little preview of what I'm gonna put here. I also bought my TV. So my TV is gonna be delivered soon. My bed is being delivered within the next four hours. So that's why I have to be here because they're gonna call me and they're gonna bring it up. Slowly but surely, we are officially moving into a new apartment, so yeah. Organize. Oh my god. These are the first three sneakers that I brought into the apartment. Trying to figure out exactly what I want to do with the sneaker wall is also going to be the backdrop of crew kick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that sneaker wall here. I definitely want to put like a table there for when I'm filming and I just want to make that wall for crew kicks every time I film an unboxing or whatever. And the best part about this placement is that that light is perfect for filming. Yeah, I'm definitely super excited about the closet because this is the biggest closet I've ever had. All this Kanye stuff, I don't wear this on the daily. So all this stuff will definitely probably, most likely, towards the back of the closet that the door covers, so. Guys, I've been in my apartment since 10 a.m. It's currently 12.30 and dude just calls me right now from Ikea and says, hey, I'll be there in an hour and a half. I've been chilling this whole time. Some days I feel like time is going by too slow and then some days I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. It's, it's crazy. There's something that I've been, there's a few things that I've been wanting. I got my apartment, so I'm gonna go buy it. Now I probably shouldn't buy it yet until I actually buy a buy a place to put it but I'm gonna go buy it right now I really I really really want this by the way Melrose Adidas the shoe palace one they got tricolor NMDs if anybody wants them they got them here I used to when I was younger I mean when I didn't live in LA the, the go-to place every time I came to LA was Fairfax but now that I live here I prefer Melrose So, I'm going to show you guys this thingy. Of course she calls me now. Hey, are you at the gym? No, I'm going to go to the gym in like 30 minutes. As you guys can see, we got this very dope Kobe Bryant box right here. I wish it was really signed, but it is not really signed. But anyway, I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen pictures of these on the internet. There's like Jordan ones, there's a Steph Curry one that I really want from a company called Enter Bay. I'm gonna open it up right now. This is the first thing you see when you open it up. It's got a Kobe Bryant dunking, and then in this gold, it says Kobe Bryant. This has the date that he retired, April 13, 2016, and it says Los Angeles Lakers 1996 to 2016. So basically, the first thing that you get when you open it up is the jersey. So, as you guys can see, this is so dope. We got the number eight jersey, his rookie jersey, and then we got the 24 jersey, as well as the shorts. These are actual freaking shorts, spandex, the elbow, the lower, not the elbow, but like right under the elbow uh, wristband that he has. They even put the Stance logo on the sock since he retired right when Stance came. And they have his jersey size, which is a 4XL. I guess Kobe wears a 4XL, I didn't even know that. And then the first figurine, yeah, this is the first one. The reason why I know that, because there's no tattoos on him. This is the first Kobe right here. He is naked, but you can see his head right there. It's got the finger, that's him walking off the court doing the after 81 points. You put Kobe on 
the little hardwood. There's two of them, obviously, and they're both the same, I believe. Oh, actually, one of them's gold and one of them is silver. Let's make the rookie Kobe. Obviously, you're gonna get the body out. Insert your naked guy jokes right now. That That is so dope. It looks like I could put it on my face. Yo, what up? It's Kobe at the new apartment. Got that basketball. It only comes with one basketball, which I'm kind of disappointed in. Most valuable player all-star game. Hey, we got the all-star game trophy. We're gonna unbox these. These are the crazy eights, the Adidas crazy eights from when Kobe first came into the league. He was rocking with Adidas. World's smallest sneaker unboxing. I can't believe I'm dressing Kobe Bryant right now on camera. I might either get flamed for this or Y'all gonna think it's cool. I don't know. I know there's gonna be a comment saying that boy's playing with Barbies right now. This is not a Barbie, yo. This is not a Barbie. Let's put this number eight jersey on. Young Kobe, almost there. Socks don't actually go all the way on. They're like, we got both shoes on. Push it on. We good? I'm gonna position him right now. Oh, his shoe fell off. Oh, these are bendy too. Then take the ball. Oh. Okay, so that's the, uh, oh, this fool's about to fall out of his place. Now we gotta do the other one. Is this for his knee? I think this is for his knee. Put the jersey on. I wish they sold, like, different sneakers for this thing. That would be freaking sick. I freaking should have hired Ikea to put this together, too, like they did in my bed. Now let's see what sneakers we got for young Mamba. Kobe 11s without the swoosh on it, because I don't think Nike wanted to give the copyright. But anyway, uh, these are supposed to be... The Kobe 11s, if you guys can see them. We got Mamba already. Right there, Mamba mentality. Hella realistic, even the eyes glisten. They look like he's crying. All right, let me know which one you guys like more. I like the 24 a little bit more because it looks a little, bit, a little bit more realistic. For anybody wondering, this thing costs $270, which is kind of pricey, but if you are looking for a nice little display, something for your room, I think it's well worth it. It's, it's dope as hell. I'm dead. I'm just kidding. That was a good workout. I really enjoyed the gym here. I hit the treadmill a couple miles, two miles to be exact. I'm not gonna over exaggerate. Lifted some weights, did the, um, what is that thing called? Elliptic, elliptic, whatever it's called. No! <laughs> this is easy. Ray drops. No! Drop top. I'm telling you, man, these days, this today was the longest day of the year. Now, I know that the year is only 11 days in, but it's the longest day of the freaking year. But it was very, very productive for me. Got a lot done. I miss the hustle that I used to have on Crew Kicks where I used to wake up and wanna, I had to upload five days a week. And I miss that and I wanna bring that back. I want Crew Kicks to be the best sneaker channel on YouTube and right now it's not. So I need to make sure I get it back to that. Cause that's what, that's what drove me every morning, man. That's what drove me every day. But sometimes you gotta lose it in order to want it more, you know what I'm saying? So, gotta keep grinding, baby. My stupid ass phone isn't working again. This is what I'm telling you about, like, Apple, the new, the iPhone 7 doesn't work. The iOS doesn't work. Like, what is this shit? Second of all, I'm supposed to have a package right here, man. This happened again, dude. Freaking, this is a, a perfectly fine day. Great. Where's my freaking package? My roommate's not here, so there's no way it's in the house. Delivered, location, front door. Someone freaking stole my package again. Okay, so I bought these off of this app called GOAT, which is like a sneaker app where you buy sneakers from other people. It's always a long ass process through this app because there, it's good and bad. So I'm not even trying to promote this app. I don't know anybody who works for this app. I just, I buy from this app because it's trustworthy. You buy it and then they ship it to the, the GOAT and then the GOAT verifies the shoe is real and then they ship it to you. So it actually takes about two, two to three weeks for you to actually get the shoes. The shoe that I bought was these right here. The Samurai 
Kyrie threes. The Samurai Kyrie threes. This is the second freaking shoe someone stole from in front of my door, man. And I know it's only $175, which is, it could have been worse. But it's just like, someone is, I, it's, who comes, I don't live on a street where anyone can just see a package. You have to be, you have to come to my floor in my apartment complex. Somebody is coming to this exact floor, they saw the box and took it. So what I'm thinking is somebody who lives on this floor who knows, and that there is a kid who lives on the same floor as me who knows, I can't accuse him like that. I'm not gonna say it was him. But I'm, in my mind, it just can't be some random person. It has to be someone who comes to this floor. Like, fuck. this just killed my vibe, dude. Whatever, obviously that person needs it more than me. I'm just gonna keep it pushing, man. That's, it sucks, but it is what it is, man. I'm just happy I'm not gonna be living here for too much longer. Freaking messed up my whole vibe. I had a, such a good day. I was literally, I was recording when I got out the elevator so I can show that the package was there. Like, you saw the footage, and it wasn't there, and I had planned. I was like, all right, when the package comes, I'm gonna film the Crew Kicks video unboxing tonight, but there's no box, so now I'm freaking screwed. I don't have a video for tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna cut it off here. I'm sorry for the bad vibes towards the end of the night. I hope everybody does have a great day. I'm gonna look on eBay or wherever and try to get these shoes. I know a lot of people are gonna tag me and tweet me saying, try to hook me up with the shoes, but don't worry about it, guys. I'm good. I'll find the shoes eventually. Patience is key in the sneaker game. Thank you ahead of time. I love you guys. Dream crew. Stay positive. Stay blessed. I'm out of here. Peace.